Hey everybody, happy new year and welcome back. If you are new here for 2022, my name is TJ. I am the creative behind TJ's Magic Touch. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to design fragile stickers for your home-based business. In this video, I will be using Photoshop CC. I will be printing with my Naflaka thermal printer and using Mun Bin labels. Remember, all of the links will be listed in the description box below. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click on create new and we're going to set our document at 2.25 width and 1.25 for height. These are the measurements of the labels that I'm using in my thermal printer. After you have your dimension set, you will click on create and this small rectangle is what will pop up in your workspace. Now, I know that my workspace may look a little bit differently than yours. So to fix that, I'm going to go to window workspace and set essentials default. If you're already in essentials default and still see a few differences, you repeat that step and then click on reset essentials. And now our screens should look the same. This tutorial will be really um, quick and easy because the only tools that we will be using will be this T, which is our text tool, as well as our move tool, the first tool at the top. And we'll be using that only to move and adjust our text on the screen. Now I'm going to find a font that I like um, to use for this label. Remember when choosing your fonts, even though you do want something decorative and nice on your design, you still want it thick enough and bold enough because with thermal printing, it actually burns the image into the paper. So fonts with more designs in them may not show up as nicely on your sticker as what you want and then you'll end up having to adjust your print settings in your printer so you want the process to be as easy as possible by selecting a font that will get the job done correctly the first time Really quickly, I just want to point out if you have your type layer or your text layer selected, you can actually adjust the font and the spacing of the font by clicking on the icon in front of the numbers um, and essentially sliding it back and forth instead of typing in and selecting different fonts. It's just a quick little tip to help you along the way. Now throughout the rest of the video, I will just be adding in additional text layers to design the label. So you will see the process of me typing in the text that I want on the screen, highlighting the text and choosing the font that I want to use for that text. For these labels, um, I don't recommend going all the way to the edge, although if you design all the way to the edge, it's not it's not a problem, but just to be safe, um, I would not go all the way to the edge of the label. Okay, this is going to be all that I'm going to do with this label for the purposes of this tutorial, but the possibilities with these labels are limitless. I'm going to show you how to save and print. First, you'll go to file and save as. You can choose between saving to your cloud documents or on your computer. I saved to my computer on a separate hard drive. 
whatever pops up is where you will save it and you want to make sure to save as a PDF. Remember you want to save this two times, once as your PSD so that you can come back in and edit and make changes later. And the second time you save, you want to save as a PDF. So protect my previous buyers and clients information where I save at those folders did not pop up on the screen. But when you go to file and save as, you will see the folders that pop up for where you want to save your file. Now, after choosing to save your file as a PDF, I will show you how you can print it on your thermal label printer. This is what your file will look like when you open your PDF in Adobe Acrobat or wherever you open your PDFs at. To print your labels, you're going to click on your printer icon and choose your label printer. This is how the Navaka Thermo printer shows up with my computer. So I'm going to make sure that it is selected. Currently the size that's selected is 4x6, which is my standard shipping label. So I'm going to click on properties and then choose the correct size label that I am using, which is a 2.25 by 1.25 after clicking ok you'll see that your pdf file in your print preview is now the same size as your thermal label and then you will simply click print and your labels will print out i will show you what that looks like when it prints out as well as a few other cute ideas that you can do with your thermal labels That is all for this video. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Please do not forget to like, comment, share because sharing is caring and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for the continued support and don't forget to go out there and create something magical. Bye guys.